Good morning, everybody. My name's Joshua, your independent Cincy Star Consultant. Uh, I have what I've been warming. Um, my bucket's kind of getting full, so I figured now's the time, especially diving into the Halloween, Christmas season. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get started. I do have some new releases and I have some of the holiday fragrances in here as well. I'll be ordering my bricks and scent of the season bars this week. I'm so excited. Um, if you hear that, my cat is meowing all over the place, but I just woke up, so. He's mad because I'm not laying in the bed. So, I'm going to start off with Happy Holidays. I had this in my wall fan diffuser in the hallway. I switched it out for Velvet Moon. And Scentsy Pods have aroma beads inside and they last 120 hours. Um each they fit inside of our Scentsy Go tabletop fan diffuser, mini fan diffuser, air purifier, and Scentsy Go. I love our pods. And then I switched vanilla mint for sh dancing sugar plum. Yeah. So good. And then Velvet Moon, I switched out, well, Velvet Moon's there. 100 Acre Woods, I finished these. So what did I switch? I've been going through pods, so. Um, my mom put Autumn Hearth car bar in her car. This is your simple apple spices. Very, very good. My nose is a little stopped up due to allergies, but. Fluffy Fleece I put in my car. One of my all time favorites. This stays in my club. It's just fresh, clean, and cozy. I really enjoy that. I did get through, well, I got a pack of cotton cleanups. Now on to the good stuff. So, let me find. So I went through two of the Holiday Collection, Cherry's Jubilee and Rum Pum Plum. So with Cherry's Jubilee, I did not warm by itself. I actually did one cube to one cube of Cinnamon Bear because I'm not much of a cherry kind of person. Um, I'm... I wanted a little spice to it, which this was a great day mixer. It did fizzle out pretty, I guess around day two, day three, I still haven't changed my wax cause I can still smell it as I come into the apartment. But it's a great balance. The cherry didn't take over the cinnamon and the cinnamon didn't take over the cherry note in here. Um, so yeah. Try it out. Let me know what you think. It may be different in your home. Um, Rum Pum Plum. So when this first started warming, man, it reminded me of ghostly greetings. And then by the time I walked out the house, I got this like, ugh. Like it was too overly sweet for me. But it also reminded me of fairy, fairy tale pumpkin. 
but this doesn't have any licorice in it, but it was that strong. Like, I was ready to change my wax, but I let it go on for like four days. This sucker, yeah. I also got through my bar of Dumbo. This will go into my collection to save since it was a giveaway from SFR. This was really nice. This is, I forgot the notes, but it, the floral notes in here, I think it's Magnolia. It's, it is not very strong. It's not a really cloying. It, they all, all the fragrances in this bar mash well together and I really enjoy this. I'm debating on putting it in my club or just getting a brick. Gecko, hush. Um, Frosty Air. I got through this. Man, this thing is so strong. Um, I put it in my room and stuff, but it it's a powerhouse. It is just, it's a sweeter version of a uh, clothesline. Like, it's really freaking sweet. But I had one cube left and one cube left of Rustic Lodge. And I put that in the bathroom. And that was fantastic. Um, the pine note in here really helped tone down that sweetness. Um, scary good. And first day of fall, I did not fully mix these, but I had scary good in the back of the house and first day of fall in the front. I love these. First day of fall is just your average pumpkin spice. So good. And scary good is like your butterscotch. pumpkin, brown sugar. It is so freaking delicious. That stays in my club. I warmed sips of cider. This is like one of my number one faves. Yes. Stop going crazy. It's unlike cider mill. Cider mill is Pumpkins, apples, and cider. Sips of cider is that heavy orange. It's really good. And same with cider mill. So, so good. Fall feeling. This was really nice. It has that brown sugar. It's like a sister to um, Painted Leaves, but with brown sugar in it, and it tones it down really well, which I like. It's just your very traditional fall fragrance. Red Current Wreath. This will be going in my club at the end of the season. Cause man, this was beautiful. This, I'm actually kind of happy they got rid of Very Merry Cranberry and put this in. Man. So, so good. Let me find the notes real quick. Berries, spiced up, evergreen, and sandalwood. I don't get much of the sandalwood that's in here. I got more of the winter berries and the evergreen. 
Oh, I hate that instant blade. Hate that I'm sniffling. But this is the perfect. It's like um, red berries and spruce, but deeper and stronger. I got through two bars of Dark and Devious. I still debating. I love this, but with the bricks, Sense of the Season, and Christmas Cottage Sensepirations coming out, I don't know if I want to add these to club. Am I gonna die without them? No. It's very peppery, spicy. It's enjoyable, I love it, but. Frosted Cedar. This is nice, simple, sweet, and clean. It is so good. This will be probably added to my club. Red Delicious Apple, White Cedar, and Creamy Vanilla. I don't get much apple when I warm this, but I did get the White Cedar and the Vanilla. And it was so good. Of course, another bar of candied cranberry pecan. I can't get over this. Brandy plum, cranberries, pecan, just pure holiday perfection. And then autumn hearth. Smells just like Hobby Lobby. So good. But that is everything, y'all. We emptied it out. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week. Right now, there is a join promotion with the $99 kit. You do get the November warmer of the month and the five holiday bar bundle for free in your kit. Um, that's over an extra $100 value. So if you are interested in joining Cincy or interested in joining the community, um, feel free to message me or find me on Instagram at MrBrickBoss13. I'll be happy to help you. I'll be happy to welcome you into my team. Um, just let me know and I'll see you on the next video.